how to invert a matrix is probably one of the tougher skills that I've ever taught. I, you know, I, to me it is anyway. Uh, and there's lots of different versions of it, but the one that stuck with me is using what's called the identity matrix. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. And I've got another 3x3 three three we'll also work on. So uh, I hope this helps. It's almost a skill that's unneeded with all the the fancy calculators and the computer programs that can do it all for you in a matter of seconds. But it, I think it's a good skill to, to, to go through this process. It's probably more important to know how to use it, but that's not what this video is about. Or where to use it and when you need to invert a matrix. But anyway, how to invert a matrix. Um, you've got a matrix there, and the identity matrix is when you have ones in the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So on a two by two, it's one, zero, zero, one. And so you're going to add that to the matrix. So you're going to have an entirely new matrix. The matrix that you have, and it'll convert to a two by four. Yeah. And so I'm going to add one, zero, zero, one to my matrix. And then I'm going to do, use the process like reduced row echelon form, um, but what we're going to do is put ones in the diagonal and zeros in this diagonal. And then our result, and our result will be the inverse on the 4x4 four four to the right. So the first step I would do, I guess, is I would take, I want to eliminate, I want to put a zero here in this position. So if I multiply the 1 by negative 2 and add the two rows together, I'll have a 0 there. So I'm going to take um, 2 times row 1 and add that to row 2 to get my resulting vector. So that result would be, and I'm going to leave the top alone, 2, 1, 1, 0. I'm going to eliminate the dotted line. Um, so if we added that, so if we multiply negative 2, and I'll just stick it on the top so we can kind of see what's going on. So if I take 2 and just basically distribute it through this whole thing, I'd have 2, negative 4, 2, 0. And now I'm going to add that down to row 2. So I'm going to add those together. And so when you add those together, you'd have 0. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 2 plus 0 is 2, and 0 plus 1 is 1. Excellent. So now I'm going to use that result, because now I want a 0 in this position. I've already got the 1 where I want it, and this one where I want it. That was kind of a nice little lucky, lucky break. Uh, but let's go ahead and put a 1 in this position at the top. Right. So to do that, um, looks like you're going to need to multiply this one here by an, a positive 2. So I'm going to take 2 times row 2 and add it to row 1. So let's see what we got here. Let me extend the page. Uh, come on here. Let me move things up a little. All right. So, so I'm going to take, uh, kind of moving it, whoops, moving it back this way. I'm going to take 2 times row 2 and add it to row 1 uh, to get my new row 1 vector. So my bottom vector is okay, 0, 1, 2, 1, and we kind of know exactly what it is. And so if I multiply this bottom by 2 and kind of distribute my 2 through, you'd have 0, 2, 4, 2. Now I'm going to add that to each of the positions in row 1. So 0 plus 1 is 1. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 4 plus 1 is 5. And 2 plus 0 is 2 put my dotted line back in, and this is the inverse of that original matrix. So 5, 2, 2, 1 is the inverse of that original matrix. Okay, 
So that's a two by two. Well, let's take a look at what happens if, uh, if it's a three by three. So let's say I have this three by three and it works the same for every matrix. So it just takes more time is all. So one, two, negative one, two, six, one, three, six, negative four. So again, to just save some time, I'll put in the identity matrix here. So the identity matrix would be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. 1's in the diagonals, 0's everywhere else. So our goal is to do the same here. What's nice is I already have a 1 in, this di in, this, in the correct spot. So that first row is going to probably be okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I want to eliminate, I want to turn this to a zero and this to a zero. So I'm going to do two things at once. So to, to do the second row, turn that to a zero, I'm going to take negative two times the first row and add it to the second row. And so I'll do that, uh, um, let's kind of extend the page here. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. The first row is going to stay the same. So we'd have 1, 2, negative 1, 1, 0, 0. And so um, since I got the blue marker out, we'll just do that in blue. So if I take negative 2 and distribute it through all this, you'd have negative 2, uh, negative 4, 2, negative 2, 0, 0, if you distribute negative 2 through. So negative 2, negative 4, uh, 2, ne yep, and I just make sure I'm right. And now we're going to add that to the second row. And when you do that, you'd have 0, negative 4 plus 6 is right here. Negative 4 plus 6 is uh, 2, and 2 plus 1 is 3. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. Okay, so we've added that down. Now, for the third row, I'll do that in a different color so we can kind of see what's going on. For the third row, we need to make that a 0. So I would need to take negative 3 times row 1 and add that to row 3. So if I take negative 3 times row, row 1, and I'll do that on the bottom here just so you can show, I can show my work. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. Negative 3 times 0 is 0. So I'm distributing the negative 3 through everything. And now I'm going to add it to every term below. So negative 3 plus 3, 0, what we wanted. Negative 6 plus 6, ah, another 0. That's excellent when that happens. 3 plus negative 4 is negative 1. Negative 3 plus 0 is negative 3. 0 plus 0 is 0. And 0 plus 1 is 1. All right. So we've completed one step of this and got a whole bunch of zeros, which is great. That makes it a lot easier when you, when you get a bonus zero in the, in the mix. So there's our new matrix, matrix. So now what we want to do is we want to be careful. Our next goal, I think, and it, it could be a, 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 a whole bunch of different things, but... I think we need to put a zero in this position. Well, the only row we have that can do that is row two. So to get a zero, notice all you'd have to do between these two to, in order to add them together is change one sign. So I'm going to take um, a negative one times row two and add it to row one to get that result. So. Um, I'm going to leave everything else. Now I'm going to do them one step at a time because if I go much faster, it'll kind of mess things up.
I'll make too many mistakes. So we're just going to do one at a time now. So my bottom row I'm going to leave alone. Not even going to mess with it. Negative 1, and negative 3, 0, 1. And my second row I'm not going to mess with that either because all I'm worried about is changing this to a 0. So 0, 2, 3, negative 2, 1, 0. Now, if I distribute a negative 1 through this row, you'd have obviously 0, negative 2, negative 3, 2, negative 1, 0. And we're going to add that up above. So negative 2 plus 2 is 0. And we got a 1 there. I forgot. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. 1, negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. And 0 plus 0 is 0. All right, and so now you can just kind of pick them off one at a time. Um, let's, uh, we need zeros in each of two spots. So let's make a zero go here, and let's make a zero go here in this step. So here we can do it twice, we can do two steps. So I'll do the first one in blue. So we're going to take, um, notice we've got a negative one in this bottom row. That's a pretty good deal. So we're going to leave that row alone. And so we're going to take, in order to eliminate the 3, we'll do that first, we're going to take a positive 3 times that row 3 and add it to row 2. Okay. And then for your next step, kind of keep it together, and I'll do it in green. You're going to take the negative 1 times um, a negative 4 to make this a 0. So you'd have negative 4 times r3 plus r1. Okay, and so now let's let's go do those. So here we go. Uh, bottom row we're going to leave alone. 0, 0, negative 1. Uh, negative 3, 0, 1. Okay. And uh, I did a, the, we're going to do this top one first. So we're going to take 3 and distribute it through R3. So that would give me, um, that would give me negative 3. Uh, distributing, you know, you got a 0 here and a 0 here. 3 times 0, 3 times 0. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 3 times negative 3 is 9. 3 times 0 is 0. 3 times 1 is 3. And uh, we're going to add that to row 2. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. That didn't change. That's nice. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Uh, 9 minus 2 is 7. Let's make sure I'm OK. Yep, 7. 0 plus 1 is 1. 3 plus 0 is 3. Excellent. Now we're going to go ahead and do um, get rid of the top row. So we're going to take negative 4 through this bottom row, which would be 0, 0, positive 4, positive 12, 0, uh, negative 4. Just distributing that negative 4 through. And we're going to add that to row 1. Well, 0 plus 1 is 1. 0 plus 0 is 0. We're not changing any of those. 4 plus a negative 4 is 0. 12 plus 3. 12 plus 3, uh, 15. Uh, 0 plus a negative 1 is negative 1. And negative 4 plus 0 is negative 4. All right. Whew, this is getting brutal. But we're almost done, which is exciting. So... Finally, the last thing we really need is in row 2, we need a 1 in this position. And in row 3, we need uh, a 1 in that position. Right now it's a negative 1. So all I'm going to do is take, to finish this thing out, is to take 1 half times row 2 and take 
negative 1 times row 3. And you don't add them or anything. You just multiply that through. Distribute, you know, kind of like distributing it through. So you'd have 1, 0, 0, 15, negative 1, negative 4, 0. Now, I'm taking a half and distributing it through. So half times 0 is 0. A half times 2 is the 1 we need. A half times 0 is 0. But you got to keep going. A half times 7 is 7 halves. I'm okay with that. A half times 1 is a half. A half times 3 is 3 halves. So we got a little fractions, a little bit of fractions to deal with. The bottom row went a little too far down. We need to multiply by negative 1, which is just going to distribute the sign through. So that's 0 and 0 doesn't change. That would become positive 1, positive 3, 0, and negative 1. And so now we have the identity matrix on the left and our inverse, inverse of our matrix on the right. And so the inverse of our matrix is 15, negative 1, negative 4, 7 halves, 1 half, 3 halves, and then 3, 0, and negative 1. And so if you were uh, really good and really wanted to make sure you had it all correct and all your I's crossed, T's crossed and I's dotted, is you'd multiply that to your original matrix and see if you get the identity matrix. See if you get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. If you do that, you've done it correctly. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go through, it's already a 17 minute video, that's, that is plenty. So, best of luck, it is possible that I made a mistake in this, and I'm almost sure I have, looking at it, dang it, I do, I found it, there is a mistake, this one right here should have been a negative 11 halves, so I'm still going to publish it, because that's, these are the mistakes you're going to make. So you could go back through, let me, I'll pause it and go find my mistake so you don't have to watch me looking for it. Alright, so I found my mistake. So if you go back through here, I'll go back up to where, I'll show you where I made it. And you probably caught it while you're watching the video. I don't know, but right here, 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. Negative 9 plus negative 2 is negative 11. So this 7 should have been negative 11. And there's the, there's the dreaded error. So now my resultant vector, and so had I not had the answer book just sitting right next to me to check to see where I had that mistake made, I wouldn't have caught it without multiplying them out. But that's the beauty of math. You, can, you could actually multiply those and if you get the identity matrix, you would have done it correctly. Of course, you didn't have to multiply, right, without making any mistakes. So as you can see, this is pretty cumbersome, which is why it is really awesome that we have all these gadgets that can do this for you in a matter of seconds, as long as you type it incorrectly. Best of luck on this, and see you next time.